Kia ora, I'm Tony. I'm, the, I'm a master's student in the anatomy department and my two favourite subjects that I studied at a, a, in anatomy were bioanthropology, which is the study of bones and how they evolved over time, and neuroscience, my favourite, the brain. I'm obsessed with it. Look at it. Hey everybody, my name's Christine and I'm a lecturer in the Department of Anatomy. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about what study in anatomy is all about at the University of Otago. Now, I think when a lot of people hear anatomy as a subject, they think of skeletons and maybe guts and that kind of stuff. But what I really wanted to get across to you is that while that's true that those things do happen in anatomy, there's lots of other stuff that happens in anatomy and you'll learn all that stuff in your study. I mean, the one way that you can think about anatomy is that we're interested in the subject of anatomy in understanding how the body is put together and how that makes it function in the way that it does. Um, of course, we're also interested in understanding what happens when it breaks or when we have diseases and then how we can maybe try different ways of fixing it when it does break or when we have diseases. Now, the thing that's cool about anatomy is I told you it was quite broad. Um, and the thing that's really nice about that is if you come to the University of Otago to study anatomy, is that you will be able to study all of these things about your body and about our bodies, as well as some things about um, how humans have evolved and come to populate uh, the Pacific um, by studying their skeletons. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a bit. But um, the thing that's really cool about it is that because it's so varied, it allows you to craft a degree that is fit for you. So you can, we have a lot of different papers and the way the degree is structured allows you to study just the things that you really like. And you get to emphasize those and learn a lot more about those. So I came here in first year studying health sciences to be a doctor, but I fell in love with this guy right here and just got obsessed with anatomy. And the lecturers and the lab demonstrators just support you and just further like, so you have so many questions that you wanna ask. You just get answers, but then they just provide more questions and then you just get more answers. It's an obsession. So in addition to those um, topics that Tony told you about that she's really super interested in, we have a couple of other areas of, um, of study in anatomy that other people also find really interesting, and that's reproduction and development. So that's kind of trying to understand um, how your body developed, like how it took its form even before you were born. Um, and also there's a, we have a subject called clinical and functional anatomy, and this is where um, things like bones and the more traditional anatomy study come into play. Um, and in, in that area of, of study, people are really interested in understanding things like, you know, why is it that knees always go out when people play sport? Or how can I fix this bad back that's really been bothering me? So as you can see, I hope that um, the choices that you have in anatomy are really very, very broad and can really um, help you to understand yourself and your place in the world. So I came here to study medicine. Only two places in New Zealand offer it, Auckland and Otago. Um, but I fell in love with research, well, for now. And that's the greatest part. Everything that you study just opens another door, like Christine was saying. I do research at the moment, but I could also enter medicine next year, or I could go into government policy and change things. My options are limitless, and Otago has taught me that. So as you can probably imagine, because anatomy is so broad, um, it's quite popular. And what that means is that we have a lot of students who also are majoring in anatomy. And so our, com our student community is really robust. It's big, you've got lots of exposure to other anatomy majors. And I think I'll leave it to Tony actually to tell you a little bit more about what the anatomy student community is all about and, and what that will afford you in your study. So the community is so wide and you meet such a diverse range of people that are so like-minded, but so crazy, you know. I met my lab pa partner in reproductive and developmental biology. We became friends and then we became flatmates. How crazy. So the last thing um, that really I wanted to tell you about is what do you do um, after you get out and you have a degree in anatomy? Well, people who've majored in anatomy over the years have ended up in an enormous variety of careers. The variety that you get in anatomy is mirrored by the variety of career opportunities that you have when you come out. So not surprisingly, a lot of people um, go into the health professions, so things like medicine, dentistry, physiotherapy, but also a lot of people in allied health professions, so nursing, um, optometry, ophthalmology, um, genetic counseling, those kinds of things are, are quite popular. Um, we also have people who have taken on roles as teachers of biology and anatomy and science teachers. Also a lot of people who go into science communication. 
Um, you could go into research, so if you really get into the study that you do in anatomy, you might find yourself doing some research in anatomy. Um, and then finally, um, one of the really popular places that people go um, is into government and communicating science to government and um, so that science can inform policy making that um, government officials um, consider when, when they're making policy about how the country will work.